we're going to write general form of equation to slope intercept form. I can think of I think of a general form of a equation of a line as a the hoity toity form of an equation of a line in that you don't get much of um, the important information from it. So if we change it to slope intercept form, at least we can get the slope and the intercept from that form of the equation, which is good for graphing. So to do that, slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And we would move all other terms to the other side of the equation. This would give us negative 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 16. We're solving for y, so we must divide each term by negative 2. When we would divide by negative 2, we would get y equals negative 3 over negative 2x subtract 8. And of course, negative 3 over negative 2 is positive 3 halves x subtract 8. Now we have the slope, which is 3 over 2, and the y-intercept, which is negative 8. If you wish, you could pause the clip and try the next one. Once again, I'm going to leave y where it is, the y term, and put the other terms on the right side of the equation. This will give us negative 2y is equal to negative 5x subtract 12. Uh, now, since I want to get y by itself, I want to isolate y. I'm going to divide all terms by negative 2. And I have y is equal to negative 5 over 2x, 5 over negative 2x, plus 6. y equals negative 5 over negative 2 is positive 5 over 2x plus 6. Six. And our slope is 5 halves, and our y-intercept is 6. So it's always uh, good to know how to go from general form to slope-intercept form so that we can get some of the important information.